I just want to remind people again of the front pages when they got engaged and when they got married, uh, which we, we've got here, I think. Uh, this is a montage. You could not get a bigger collection of more ecstatic front pages welcoming the first biracial woman to the royal family. I remember covering the wedding. There was euphoria from the public and the media. And yet she says in the interview, from the beginning of our relationship, the press were racist. Well, the point uh, that I think she was making was that headline that said straight out of Compton. Now, that might not mean anything to other people, but to a black person, Shaka, you'd understand this, it is... It is very painful. It's saying you're ghetto, that you're rough. And other people might laugh it off, but remember, if you've lived with this backdrop bubbling away, it appears, if I can, I'd liken it to uh, if you're if you're blind, if, if you're sight impaired your whole life. Somebody might say nasty things to you every so often, but your whole life is affected by where people place things or don't place things, or whether there's a steps or there's a ramp, your accessibility to life, how much opportunity you may or may not have. Um, she, I don't think she was ready for this at all. And I actually don't think Harry was either. I think it's, I know from experience, it's very painful for a white partner to see firsthand all these little microaggressions and what have you, and they're, they're shocked. If somebody brings up, yeah, but what colour is your child going to be? And uh, I, I've been in that situation as well. It, it is deeply shocking. It might not seem shocking to the person the saying it. Let me jump in on that. We don't know the context yeah. of that conversation. We don't know who's supposed to have no, said it. Can, it I, can I put to you just a scenario that may have happened? And I wonder whether you find this... You would automatically think this is offensive and racist. If you have two parents, one's white and one's black, as in Meghan's case, and she's pregnant and going to have a baby, is it racist and offensive for a family member to say, oh, what colour might the baby be? I mean, I would imagine in most families that might be a question they think and they might ask, well, but, not, but not in a racist or derogatory manner. Now, tell me, tell me if I'm wrong. It appears why does it matter what colour a child is? Well, as a child is healthy... It's just curiosity. It might um, just be curiosity, uh, Tricia. In other words, it may not listen, have been a malevolent I, thing oh, to say. Piers, Piers, here's another curious thing. People are often, when I've got my hair natural, people are curious about what my hair feels like. Yeah. So they'll come up behind me while I'm doing something and run their dirt, filthy hair, hands through my hair. It's only curiosity. They might make comment about my feet or or uh, talk about me in front of me. It's only curiosity. No, any but context, day in, any context day that out. conversation may... We don't know who the conversation was with or the context, but what you're saying is... Any context in which that kind of conversation happened is automatically racist. If you are working against a backdrop of non-stop stuff, it doesn't take one straw, you know, it only takes one straw to break the camel's back. And what gets me is why, why is everybody else such an expert about racism against black people? I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry, Piers. I, you don't get to call out what is and isn't racism against black people. You can call out all the other stuff. I'll leave you to call out all the other stuff you want, but leave the racism stuff to us, I eh? Think, OK, I think when Meghan Markle... Uh, calls the royal family a racist institution. She it's a very serious allegation. She, she better use the phrase racist institution. Actually, they do. Sorry, they do. They portray yeah. the royal family as racist, and it's a they very incendiary say... charge. And I don't think it, it, it actually is fair to the royal family to not name the supposed racist. Let's bring in Andrew Morton. Andrew, uh, I don't need to tell you about royal turmoil. Uh, or the... royal in interviews and the impact that they this, have. Yeah, how does this compare to the Diana? Um, ongoing saga? Well, I have to say, my jaw dropped watching that interview, and it is very similar to the, the Panorama uh, interview 25 years ago that Martin Bashir conducted. Uh, the one thing that intrigues me about this, this whole, the whole business of uh, Meghan saying that the, 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 the baby uh, and the colour of the baby... Uh, in relation to security and also to whether it or not it's been be made a prince or a princess uh, is, is confusing because it's the Metropolitan Police who decide security. It's, uh, it's the Queen who is the font of all honour. So in a way, Meghan and Harry are accusing the Queen 
of racism uh, by default. And I find that uh, allegation quite explosive. I completely agree. This whole thing that she says uh, about how the only reason Archie isn't allowed to be a prince has got nothing to do with royal protocol, but all to do with his potential skin colour. And it, and, uh, and that it will be the Queen that what, decides what? that title. That is calling the Queen a racist. Um, yeah, the, the, the next stage, I think, has got to be that the, the Metropolitan Police will have to give a, 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 a reason why Archie wasn't going to be given security. Well, I think that is, that is, again, another serious issue that the whole royal family has to deal with, because I think I feel like why would they not have security when Prince Harry was still at risk? And as Meghan and Harry both say, they had death threats against them. I'm not sure why people, how people can understand because that that security go, was to, taken away from because them. Because they quit royal duty, they quit the they country. Still the same they didn't want to do the hard yards on a wet Wednesday threat. and stoke at an old people's home. I just they wanted to, to live in California before, in luxury and make hundreds of millions out of okay, Netflix. They we, can pay for their own security. They, Chaka Khan, um, this whole issue of... Never mind uh, me. Never no, mind me. No, no, I mind you. Uh, Chaka Khan, though, is a superstar guest. I'd like to give us some airtime. I was about to ask Chaka Khan a question. Well, go on, then. Which is, what is it like when you're as high-profile as you are and you receive the sort of coverage that you say you recognise Megan yeah. received. What does that do yeah, to no, you? No. Right, well, yeah. No one can stand... Uh, no one can talk about what's going on in her mind and heart uh, unless you're standing in her shoes. Um, and that's where it gets really tricky. Uh, uh, we're talking about racism here. We're, I'm coming from a country that is very racist. I lived in Britain for over 30 years. And I found some of the same stuff going on that I've seen all over the world. Um, and if they're little, and it's a little bitty, little ways that are are so finely tuned by now that it's almost hard to find. It's hard to hard, hard to call out, you know. Um, I think when the royal family does um, look into her, all of her false accusations, that uh, they're going to have to look pretty deep. And I'm only praying, as an American, I'm not a Britisher, but I'm only hoping and praying that uh, they will look into what she is allegating and good to and make it to rights. Well, I think that's important. Think it's also important we look into the ongoing allegations about Meghan Markle bullying people, which she's so keen to dismiss, but with actually, from my information, are actually quite serious. Uh, Andrew Morton. How does this... What would Diana make of this, do you think? I mean, she would not, surely, be enjoying any of this. No. Well, in, uh, I think the irony is she, she would be enjoying it. It's almost like Diana's getting her revenge from beyond the grave. I, I mean, remember, she was the trailblazer in this. She put the boot into Prince Charles 20-odd years ago. She talked about <laughs> wanting to be the Queen of, pe uh, of People's Hearts, and got, and, and which, which prompted the Queen herself to get involved she in their want, divorce. She wouldn't want William and Harry at war. They don't talk at the no, moment. She, I know no for a fact they're not talking. She, no, there's no question at all that she would want William and Harry to, to, to reconcile. But remember, she was actually thinking of moving to Malibu. Yeah. Uh, she was going to buy um, Julie Andrews' house. So she, so she could have been with... And, and also, Oprah was going to interview her. And then Martin Bashir There Bashir's are so many in. echoes. So, Before so, we let you so, go, so, Roy, Roy and Nikos... Roy and Nicole, you're a royal correspondent, you're very plugged in, you've got great sources. Um, just tell us about these two weddings, because uh, Meghan and Harry say that the big multi-million pound wedding, well, it seems to have been a fake. They were already married before that ceremony took place. Um, do you know that, what happened? Wh which one was the real wedding? Um, Suzanne, that was absolute news to me, I have to say. And I think that is one of the points in the interview that I think um, the public are going to have really interesting reactions for because we very much felt, you know, that the, the royal press that were covering it, the British public who was so behind that amazing day that that was their wedding. That was the royal wedding. And that we suddenly were told that, well, that wasn't actually the royal wedding. The royal wedding was three days earlier in the back garden at Kensington Palace. It's quite a revelation. I should think Lambeth Palace phones are going to be ringing off their hooks this morning with questions for the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, to answer. Yeah. I think the only other thing I'd say is this is just a 
desperately sad family situation. I know Harry says he hopes that time will heal those family bonds. My goodness me, it's going to be a lot harder after this interview. I think William is going to be absolutely spitting blood about the way Meghan Markle took down his wife on national TV. I think he's going to be seething at the betrayal. And people can dress this up any way they like. This is supposedly the Duke and Duchess of Privacy spending two hours revealing all sorts of unbelievable secrets about their They've family. They've never said and, they and want 100% privacy. We're told that Oprah privacy. had nothing off limits. Not a question about her own father, her own family. Not one question about why she's disowned all her own family, why none of the family were at the wedding, but in the place of the family was Oprah Winfrey, who she'd met once in her life. Sorry, I'm calling this out for what I see it as, which is somebody who's a ruthless social climber and is now destroying or trying to destroy the image of the monarchy in this country, and I think it's shameful. I but think it's desperately, Everyone's desperately entitled to their sad. opinions. Uh, Tricia, final question for you. If you tried to invent a show that had all this, you'd reject it as being too outlandish. Well, you'd call it The Crown. No, no actually, I, I wouldn't. The name of the show would be um, Bullying Peers, and I'm afraid at the moment you'd be the star. Really? Not Meghan Markle, who drove out a load of female staff with her bullying? Or does that, does that no, count? Listening to you, Piers, listening to you this morning, I'm saddened. You know what I wish for you? I wish for you only really wonderful things. I hope that one of your sons meets a beautiful black woman and gets married to them, and then you will understand. Actually, I would love that. Why would I have any problem with that? Why does every criticism of these two have to be framed you as racism? You won't have a problem with it. It's... You'll have to hear her problems with it. Yeah, I'd also like to have her bullying investigated properly. The bullying that no one seems to Should want to take seriously. Those allegations are being investigated. Well,